All right, here we go. Let's get her warmed up. All right, just for the curious mutants out there, call me among ya, who don't really get to see a whole lot of Divided by 13 gear. It's just a treasure every time you do. I love the whole design philosophy, making use of space in the best way possible. Love it. Also like these uh, giant KT-66s, these hand grenades here sound great in this amp. A little dusty. That's all right. Look at that. Thank you guys. And there is an optional switch if you want to if you want to disengage it for recording purposes. If you have that in the same room as a speaker cab. What kind of a goon would do that? But uh let's get her cleaned up. I'll uh bop this chassis out of the cab and update you. I'm wrapping up the service on your Divided by 13. What a sweet little beast. Sweet little beast. So, got her all cleaned up. A uh, lot of loose hardware on this. A lot of the pots and the jacks here were very loose. Got you sorted out. Resistors are in great shape. No leaking caps here. Even some of these older atoms looking nice. Everything's looking really nice. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I've got most of the noise out. Uh, the remainder of that noise is due to the reverb, reverb pan's proximity to these uh, big old transformers. There's really nothing I could do outside of that at this point. Um, just kind of cool to see this. Uh, I don't see this done in practice a lot. You know, it'll take a transformer that has a certain spec, and then if you find that maybe the, the plates are a little too high, you could run a, you know, one of these zeners off of the center tap. And the trouble with doing that, though, is that it, it just globally lowers the voltage by whatever the amount of voltage is dropped across the, the diode. Well, the solution to that is to have your own filament transformer, and that's what they've done here to get around it. Very nice. Nicely executed. This is probably one of my favorite single channel reverb amps. Love it. Talk to you soon. Just great craftsmanship all around. Oh right, yeah, I'll get these tubes biased up, make sure they're in a sweet spot. Bye. And we'll wait for this to slowly fade in. Playing the strat here, so expect a little noise. Let's bring the volume halfway up. Nice. Got all the noise out of your pots. Very lush. Wow. Cavernous almost. Alright, let's see what we're working with. So that divided by thirteen that we're playing with. Let's see if we can get some sounds out of her. Grab a pick. Again, remember, you know, you're not gonna get the best audio samples here because I'm using an iPhone and I can't bend this finger, look at it. You see how it's drooping the tip there? I had a, a tendon injury that I haven't really recovered from yet, so I can't really bend it. This is as far as I can bend it. So imagine trying to play guitar like might as well just throw a slide on it and call it a day.
Bridge. Sorry. Thank you. 